Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is number 32 of my powerful tools of affinity. This is the desktop version. If you want to see the iPad version, check it out in the link below. What I'm going to show you is how to do a mask in a different way by using the Erase Blend Mode. And it has some unique abilities that I find more intuitive than using a regular mask in some situations. Please take a second and click that like and subscribe button and let's get started. So I just have a bunch of things right here. Um, I'll just pull them in one at a time. Uh, let's first talk about the erase blend mode. So let's make just any square. Um, I, it, I used a blend mode from before. It doesn't really matter. It could be a solid square. It could be anything. Now, when you use the erase mode, if I go and put a new layer and I paint on it and it doesn't even matter what color, I'll give it any color. Uh, let's say blue. It could be white. It could be black. And I paint across here like that. And I go to erase. That's the erase mode, even though I'm painting. And if I want to get it back, I could just hit the eraser here and erase I mean, my brush bigger and I can take back anything that it's basically erasing an erase mode, which is a little weird, but it has some great techniques because of that. So like, for example, if I go to a brush and I could pick just some strange brush, I don't know, uh, spray splatter, and I'll just do this. That's erase underneath. Now, if you don't, if, if you can't tell that it's erased underneath, watch, I'm going to put a fill layer underneath there. So layer, new fill layer, and it's, it's blue fill layer. And why don't you see it? The reason you don't see it is this erase mode goes through to everything. But if you took these two and grouped them, now the blue shows through. So when I am on that pixel layer, I can just keep painting anything I want and I'm it's showing right through so that's a simple explanation it really works just like a mask I can do that I can do it with any brush any kind of watercolor but I'll, let me go back to normal there we go base basic brushes I could do a solid like that and what it's doing is it's showing through so, and you could see if I took that away it's transparent so that's a simple way to mask, but here's some really cool way things you can do. So let me get rid of that. And I'm even going to get rid of that box and that box. So now let's say we, I'm even getting rid of that. Let's get rid of that too. Let me duplicate this flower and bring it above this group. And I'll turn that on. And let's duplicate this woman, show command J, and bring that above like that. And we'll hide the rest of these because we don't need them right now. I would like this woman to be in this flower. Yes, you can do a regular mask, but I think this is really very cool. We can put her behind the flower. And now I'm, gonna, I'm going to group these two because we don't want her to disappear when we do this thing. So I'll make these two a group and I'll go to that pixel layer and I will just start painting and it does not matter what color. In fact, I think I'm going to use a soft brush in this case. So let's pick a brush and let's make the brush bigger. I'm using my right bracket and I'm going to start painting, but you see that it's blue. Don't forget to go and go to the bottom here and hit erase. So now watch how I'm painting, how she's appearing. And I think that's very, it's a very cool technique. And yes, you could have done that with a regular mask, but I'll show you other things and why this is a, I feel a better way of doing it. And by the way, if I painted too much, I can also erase her back out. I can make her peek out and then go back to the brush and just make her eyes come out like that. So that's a pretty cool thing that I think you can do with this. So if you wanted to put a background, you can always go below and say layer, new fill layer. 
and there you go. And you can move her around, you could shrink her, you can get delete her, whatever you want to do. You can mask her any way you want. So I just pulled this from stock photos. You can pull any photo you want. And then I pulled in some logos. So in this particular case, I think it's this one. I'm going to duplicate that again and bring that above it. So the way this works, again, you can use this to your advantage. So for example, let's hide everything else right now. Okay, so for example, you, if, if you try to do a race, if you try to make this a race, it won't work because it'll just erase a big square. But you can on any logo, and we're going to go to filters, colors, and erase white paper. And so now, this is an erase white paper. Now this could be any color you want it to be. You could do color overlays. It doesn't really matter in this case. But if you change this blend mode to erase, you just, you just put your logo there, right? That's it. You just made a logo and stamped it right on there. And if you want to use other colors or do gradients behind it or anything, you can, don't forget, you can group these two, right? And then you can put anything behind that. So if I add in a new fill layer, let's see, layer, new fill layer. And now it's blue, but I could take that new fill layer and go to, uh, let's do a gradient on it. Let's do here. I could take that fill layer, do a gradient and change the colors. So let's say instead of that, we wanted this to be more in this tannish color, brownish feeling, right? And so we can get that like that. And, and you could do it any colors you want. You could do so many different kind of techniques. This is just a simple technique. You might be saying to yourself, let's undo that. Let's bring this back to the top and not have it as a race. Let's have it back to normal. You could be saying to yourself, well, why can't I just right click that? Bring that all back. Let's get rid of the group. Why can't I just right click that and do um, mask to below? Well, this is what will happen. You're masking it inside and, you, and you're losing the whole photo and we don't want that. And there are other ways. I'm sure you can pop that on. You could select it. You might be able to add it to a mask. But this is so much simpler in my opinion. And, and there's so many ways to do the same thing in Affinity Photo. But I really like this way. So that really, that's all there is to it. Uh, it's a very simple way to mask. And once again, on this pixel layer, you, could, you can add an, another mask right above it. So that can change everything too. So for example, if you want it, first of all, you can control a command J and then, whoops, and then take that one and move it. So you can do a whole design if you want. So you can just keep going. If you want to do a whole bunch of these any way you want them to be, you can change this. You can do this now. Watch this. You can't really do that with masks. So it gives you so many different opportunities to do different kind of techniques. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click that like and subscribe button and have a great day. Thanks so much.